What is coronavirus? Coronaviruses are a type of virus. There are many different kinds and some cause disease. A coronavirus identified in 2019, SARS-CoV-2, has caused a pandemic of respiratory illness called COVID-19. So how did the coronavirus start? The first case of COVID-19 was reported December 1, 2019, and the cause was then new coronavirus later named SARS-CoV-2. It may have originated in an animal and changed or mutated so it could cause illness in humans. In the past, several infectious disease outbreaks have been traced to viruses originating in birds, pigs, bats, and other animals that mutated to become dangerous to humans. Research continues and more study may reveal how and why the coronavirus evolved to cause pandemic disease. What is the incubation period for COVID-19? Symptoms show up in people within 2 to 14 days of exposure to the virus. A person infected with the coronavirus is contagious to others for up to 2 days before symptoms appear, and they remain contagious to others for 10 to 20 days depending upon their immune system and the severity of their illness. The COVID-19 pandemic has been a part of our daily lives since March 2020, and it remains as important as ever to stay vigilant and know how to protect yourself from coronavirus. The best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to this virus. And as the vaccines continue to their rollout, here are the simple steps you can take to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 and protect yourself and others. Number 1. Know how it spreads. The means of transmission can be through respiratory droplets produced when a person coughs or sneezes, or by direct physical contact with an infected person such as shaking hands. Some infections can be spread by exposure to virus in small droplets and particles that can linger in the air for minutes to hours. These viruses may be able to infect people who are further than 6 feet away from the person who is infected or after the person has left the space. This transmission occurred within enclosed spaces that had inadequate ventilation. Number 2. Practice social distancing. Since close person-to-person -person contact appears to be the main source of transmission, social distancing remains a key way to mitigate spread. The CDC recommends maintaining a distance of approximately 6 feet from others in public places. This distance, this distance will help you avoid direct contact with respiratory droplets produced by coughing or sneezing. Number 3. Wash your hands. Practicing good hygiene is an important habit that helps prevent the spread of COVID-19. Make these CDC recommendations part of your routine. First, Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after you have been in public place or after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. Number two, it's especially important to wash before eating or preparing food, before touching your face, after using the restroom, after leaving a public place, after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing, after handling your mask. After changing a diaper, after caring for, someone's, for someone who's sick, after touching animals or pets. Number three, if soap and water are not readily available, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Cover all surfaces of your hands with the sanitizer and rub them together until they feel dry. Number four, Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. 
In addition to hand washing, disinfect frequently touched surfaces daily. This includes tables, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, handles, desks, phones, phones, keyboards, toilets, faucets, and sinks. You may visit the CDC website for guidelines on how to properly wash your hands and use hand sanitizer and see their video on how soap kills the coronavirus. There is plenty of science behind this basic habit. Soap molecules disrupt the fatty layer or coat surrounding the virus and once the viral coat is broken down, the virus is no longer able to function. The virus is no longer able to function. Number 4. Wear a mask. Face masks have become essential accessories in protecting yourself and others from contracting COVID-19. Face masks are designed to provide a barrier between your airway and the outside world. By wearing a face mask that covers your mouth and nose, you will reduce the risk of serving as the source of disease spread by trapping your own droplets in the mask and also reduce the risk of getting sick via droplets that contain the coronavirus by blocking access to your own airways. Using mask in public may help reduce the spread from people who don't have symptoms. Non-medical cloth masks are recommended for the public. Surgical masks may be used if available. In some locations, surgical masks and, N and N95 respirators are in short supply and should be reserved for healthcare providers. Number 5. Restrict your travel. Traveling can increase the spread of COVID-19 and put you at risk for contracting the disease. Staying at home is the best way to protect yourself and others from COVID-19. For people at risk for the complications of COVID-19 such as those with underlying medical conditions or those who are older, it's prudent to avoid travel. If you must travel, take safety. If you must travel, take safety measures. Consider your mode of transportation and stay up to date on the restrictions that are in place at your destination. Adhering to your state's quarantine rules after traveling will help prevent the spread of the virus. You also may want to talk to your doctor if you have health conditions that make you more susceptible to respiratory infections and complications. Number 6. Watch for symptoms. The symptoms of infection for the coronavirus are often similar to those of other respiratory virus infections such as influenza. Symptoms can include fever, fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty of breathing, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, new loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion or runny nose, vomiting, and diarrhea. The medical community is concerned that if we have an increased number of in influenza cases, it will strain the hospital system on top of what's already going on with the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 symptoms can be very mild to severe. Some people have no symptoms. The most common symptoms are fever, cough, and tiredness. If you think you maybe have been exposed to a person with COVID-19 and have symptoms, call ahead to a doctor's office to see if you can get tested. You can also use a virtual care platform such as to meet with a healthcare professional by video conference. Avoid contact with others and wear a face mask if you need to leave your home when you are sick. And if you need to go to the doctor or hospital, call ahead so healthcare providers can take steps to ensure that others aren't exposed. Take the following precautions to avoid spreading the COVID-19 virus. 
Number one, stay at home from work, school, and other public areas except to get medical care. Number two, avoid public transportation, taxis, and ride sharing if possible. Number three, wear a cloth face mask around other people. Number four, isolate yourself as much as possible from others in your home. Number five, use a separate bedroom and bathroom if possible. And number six, avoid sharing dishes, glasses, bedding, and other household items. The COVID-19 is diagnosed through a laboratory test. Diagnosis by examination alone is difficult since many COVID-19 signs and symptoms can be caused by other illnesses. Some people with the coronavirus do not have symptoms at all. Treatment for COVID-19 addresses the signs and symptoms of the infection and supports people with more severe disease. For mild cases of coronavirus disease, your doctor may recommend measures such as fever, reducer, or over-the-counter medications. More severe cases may require hospital care where a patient may receive a combination of treatments that could include steroids, oxygen, mechanical breathing, support, and other COVID-19 Infusions of monoclonal antibodies given to certain patients early in the infection may reduce the symptoms, severity, and duration of the illness. The coronavirus pandemic has touched everyone's life in one way or another. In order for us to fight the virus, we have to stay alert, control the virus, and save lives. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Stay safe everyone. Bye!